You guys have seen my other video there where uh, I'm doing the doing the bear rough out, right? Um, there's a welcome bear all finished up, and this video. Blurry screen for some reason. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do the letters. Right? There's one I just cut out. Okay, we're going to work on this guy today. And I'll show you, uh, you know, some of the cleaning techniques. And I'm not really going to talk too much except for in the beginning when I lay the letters out. All right. And we're going to work on laying out the welcome letters for the bear. Um, first, I will start by figuring out about where my border is going to be. That's that's about half an inch in, half an inch in. Um, you always have to account for the width of whatever bar and chain you're using. Um, oh, it's not plugged in. Hold on. down make a nice square box as we go um, so I just in general I start out with the W kind of big because the W is gonna come in here so as you take more out of this it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna start getting smaller so I do the marks for the W then for the E then the L the L can be a little bit shorter than the E just because it's two cuts, right? Now, the important thing is everything, I'm only drawing this out for you guys. I normally don't draw it out. I normally just go to town on it. Um, sometimes I will just go, you know, W, E, L, C, O. You know, we'll make the O a little bigger because we have room. O, M, and E, right? There's our last E, there's our M, right? M's gonna be about there. And we're not doing anything perfect here. It's real quick. So O, so I have room, okay? Now, I, I try to keep everything to the back line. See, there's the middle of the E. There's the leg of the E, there's the L, the C goes right in, the O, left and right, about the same. This E too, this leg goes right to the line. So there's my bottom line. So there, you can draw it out. It's that simple. Now we're going to carve it. We've got plenty of space, this sea's a little bit big, but we're going to go with it.
All right, so I cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, this seat's a little bit big. The M wound up a little small, but I do not want to make this seat too small. Um, the O is a little bit big. They're all, you know, I'm going to finish out the rest of the L. I cleaned it up so you can see a little bit better what's going on here. demonstration to show you guys normally I'd repair this first and then carve um, but I think it's gonna come out fine and I can still repair it afterwards and re recolorize things um, I as you saw I've got two three others going on I've actually got four more in the back and storage um, I have quite a pile of orders for them so that's why I'm showing you this today We want to clean, just get the furs off. The less stuff you have interfering, um, the cleaner, the cleaner burn you're gonna get. saw how it's carved. Okay, so it does help if you clean that, blow it off a little. Whole thing, it helps in the long run 
get a cleaner burn. The burn actually gets in the crevices better. And there you have it. Pretty simple and basic. All right. I'm seeing backwards letters here. I'm not really good at this whole video thing. Hopefully it'll come out right. I don't know how these cameras work. <clears throat> um, you see in my other videos, I do the face details. Use, <clears throat> use this stool for cleaning. I do use this sometimes in around the paws here. I hadn't detailed the paws yet, so I'm leaving that. I'm gonna go back, you know, maybe a little light touch. That's why I was just doing this quick, just to show you guys. Um, and that's another step in the process of all the orders I have and the many, many that I have to do. Um, so yeah, I mean, check out my other videos on doing the detail for the, for the fur, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth, um, burning cleaning cleaning out the light spots right same principle carve burn sand carve burn sand um, you can mix that step you can mix that process in and 10 or 12 different steps if you want to get really detailed and ornate um, you can use a router to do the letters in a different style right that's what I did here with little welcome bear because this sign was a little bit too short to get the chainsaw in there and make good clean letter. I could do it, but it's quicker and easier and still produces a nice look. I'm going to burn this heavily and then sand this one. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and, uh, and check out my other videos. Thanks, everybody.